Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, I showed you how to design this using HTML and CSS. And this is also completely responsive. Now all this content that you see over here is hard coded in our HTML. So if you go to the code, here in the HTML, we can see that we have added all these titles, thumbnails and all these things over here in the HTML. So all this content is hard coded in the HTML. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add all this content to your JavaScript file and you can make the changes over there and all the content will be updated in the HTML. And that's basically how it is done in a real website. So in a real website, you will get all this content in an API most probably. So you need to display all this content from the JavaScript and you need to generate the HTML in the JavaScript. So in this video, I'll show you how to do that. Let's get started. Right now the first thing we need to do is we need to check whether the JavaScript file is linked in our HTML file. So here we can see that we have already linked it. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to create an array of objects. So you can just name this anything you want. I'll just name it all posts. And here you can create an array and in that you can create objects for each of the posts. So in this we need to add the title and you can go ahead and add the title of your first post over here. And then you can add the thumbnail URL and uh, then you can add all the other content that you see over here. So you need to add the label, the link of the post and the summary and all those things over here. So I'll just quickly go ahead and copy and paste some data that I have over here. All right, so here I have copied and pasted all this data for posts. And we have four posts over here. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to generate the HTML that you see over here inside the JavaScript and we need to loop through all these posts and we need to generate the HTML for each of the posts and then add it to our design. So the first thing we need to do is we need to reference the container division. So let's reference this division right here which has a class of blog post container. So here let's tap const blog posts container equals document dot query selector and uh, let's type blog post container and then let's go ahead and create a function to generate the html so let's create a function called generate posts html and uh, i'll just call the function over here now in this function we need to loop through all these posts so we have this array called all posts so let's go ahead and type all posts and for looping we will use the for each loop so let's type for each and then i'll call each of the post p and let's create an arrow function over here now in this we need to add the html so let's create a const called html and let's use backticks and let's go back to the html file and let's copy the html inside one of these blog posts so let's copy from here till here and uh, let's paste it over here so this is going to be the html and now what you need to do is uh, you need to create a division with a class of blog post and you need to add all this html inside that division so let's go ahead and uh, create a division let's tap const blog post equals document dot create element and here let's tap div and we need to add a class of blog post to that so let's tap blog post dot class list dot add and let's tap blog post and we need to add this html inside the blog post so let's tap blog post dot inner html equals html and then we need to append this blog post to this blog post container so here let's type blog post container dot append child blog post and now you can go back to the HTML file and you can delete everything inside this blog post container division. So let's select from here till here and let's delete all of this. So we just have this blog post container division. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to update all the details. So right now we can see that we have just added this uh, data and this data is hard coded over here. So we need to add the data from each of these blog posts. So we are referencing each of them by p. So here instead of the value of this src, we need to add the thumbnail over here. 
So here we can see in the thumbnail, we have added images forward slash and the names of these images. And we have all these details over here, title, label, thumbnail, summary, and link. So let's go ahead and change this SRC. Now, when we have to add a variable, we can just type dollar symbol curly braces. And here you can type P dot and we have thumbnail over here. And then for the label, let's delete this and let's type dollar symbol curly braces P dot label. And then for the title, let's delete this and let's type dollar symbol curly braces P dot title. And then we have the summary. So let's delete this and let's type dollar symbol curly braces P dot summary. And then for the href, which is the link of the post, we need to type dollar symbol curly braces p dot link. Right now, let's go back to our website, and here we can see that all the content is displayed over here, and all this data is coming from our JavaScript array. So let's go ahead and make some changes, and let's see whether it is being applied. So here we have CSS grid simplified. So here we have this title. I'll just change this to updated. And now if you go back, here we can see that the title is updated. So all the data is coming from the JavaScript array. So if you want to make any changes, you can make them over here. Now this same code can be useful if you are getting data from an API. So you can store all the details of the API inside an array of objects just like this. And you can just loop through the array over here. And now if you want to make any changes in the HTML, you can just do that over here for this single HTML code over here. So for example, you can just type label over here and now we can see that label is added for all the labels. So we can just make the changes in this one instance of the HTML and it will be added to all these blog post divisions. So it is really easy to update the content using this method. All right, so that's basically it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. And subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.